Hello, everybody. Uh, Chris Adams here. This is early in the morning for me, but uh, I don't even know what time it is. Let me see. I have to look at the computer screen real fast. 9 to 41 in the morning. And, uh, man, I am, I will tell you, uh, it has been, I, I look at the news every morning and I always see what looks to me like despair in the news. But what I realize, here's what's happening. The news media is all about clicks, right? And I talked about this with my brother a lot. They've been going downhill ever since they've been forced to make a profit. Ever since the news media has been forced to make a profit, uh, they have been pretty terrible. They used to just be part of uh, the uh, uh, bigger company's uh, loss leader. They didn't care if they lost money. They're just like, whatever, we just want people to know. And again, I don't think that they've ever been exactly honest. They're always pushing what, you know, usually the government wants you to know. But at least it felt more honest back in the days with Walter Cronkite, like, here's the news, you know. But now uh, they merely push... Um, what will get them clicks. And I noticed the trend going downhill when I started watching uh, news media report Twitter. Like, that was when something first went off in my head. I was like, why are they doing this? This doesn't seem to actually be helpful in any way, and it doesn't seem to be doing any good for them because they're not reporting a, a source. They're reporting what somebody said on Twitter. I thought we all used to know that uh, people can just write anything on the internet. You know, like <laughs> why are you believing uh, what somebody says? And now they have the you know the verified check mark so that we know who the verified liars are. It's great, uh, you know. But you watch the media enough, and I think and I've noticed this from friends of mine, even people I work with, uh, the people that watch the news all the time, they have a sense of dread that the world is horrible or something. And I'm like. I've stopped watching news, and I can tell you the world is mostly okay. I'm not saying things are perfect, but I think people are freaking out over nothing. And as long as I have my tea, I think things are going to be okay. You know, I think when you watch the news all the time, you get this sense that... Uh, <laughs> The world's on fire. I mean, I read just before I came on here that uh, Ebola is outbreak hit the Congo, and I know that the plague is coming to, or is already in Los Angeles. The plague is back, everyone, like the Black Plague, uh, and also uh, typhus as well. Not just the plague, but typhus, because you got to have a friend. <laughs> you can't just have one disease. You got to have them all. Uh, so, yes, that sounds scary. And it, and it seems scary, but to react or to live your life in fear, it doesn't make sense because you still have to go to work and you still have to make a living and you still have to just get through every day and you still have to uh, have relationships and you still have to uh, do things to keep yourself alive. And I think if you just focus more on, on, on you and your family and all that other things... It, the world news is just the world news. You know, I, I just don't understand why people are, are are fearful all the time. It doesn't make sense. Like, I, the only thing I'm worried about is, uh, can I get more bookings every month, you know? Or uh, how do I make uh, a show better? Because uh, I, I produce some shows here at work. I'm like, how do I keep making it better? How do I edit better? How do I... Um, how do I uh, add a segment? How do I make it more interesting? How do I get you know more people that, to want to view things that I that uh, I produce and that I do, and and that's really the the main thing I think that um, what I try and tell people is like, hey man, just I know things seem crazy, but if you just focus on bettering yourself instead of just bettering like trying to change the world, that's an impossibility. No single person can change the world. That's ridiculous. You think you're that special that you can change the world? Who are you? Even Bill Gates can't change the world. He's got a lot of, or he used to have a lot of money. He gave a lot of it away to charity. You know, but hey, 
Oh, I, I should probably drink this because I, oh, I was going to. But I, I do live in a, a more, I would say, calm existence now because I realize that uh, getting freaked out <laughs> over things that you couldn't even change if you wanted to is pointless. It's a waste of energy. Just change the things you can. Like for me, I'm, I'm trying to get a raise here at work so that I can get a better apartment because uh, I'm tired of where I live. That's an active goal that I can do. You know, uh, <laughs> I was thinking, I met a girl uh, that lives in Lancaster and she was telling me about how cheap places are out there. Now, there's no way, I, I don't know if I'd want to move there because uh, it would make work very difficult. But uh, I don't know. I, I could own a home. Like, it's so cheap, I could own a home there. And then just get a car, come in early like I do anyway, leave late like I do anyway. You know, I could do the road from land. It does, you don't have to live. I don't like people anyway, so I might as well just move to where there's less people. Yeah. I don't hate people, but most people are just super annoying after a while. And uh, when you take public transport like I do to get to work, you see, uh, you get enough of people. You're like, I'm I'm over most people. And most people are fine. The reality is most people are, are completely just trying to get through their day as well. But there's always those uh, couple of knuckleheads that are doing stupid things. Uh, and it just may, you know, you try and be a, a better person and it makes you just go, man, people are screwed up. But it's really only like five people that are bad. Most people are just fine. So my message today is I hope everyone has a good uh, hump day. Uh, uh, you know, if you watch the news, just realize it's, it's mostly just getting you to click. It isn't about actually informing you. Uh, any, any media, it doesn't matter where you get it. It's all about clicks. I've noticed that from every single, because I read a, a wide variety of things. And most of it's just like, hey. Uh, click this, so we'll tell you the truth. And it's like, no, you won't. You're just, you're all just trying to sell me um, birch gold or something. Anyway, have a wonderful day, and I wish you good luck.